before we begin this video, if you don't want to hear any disturbing information, or you simply don't want to watch me talk about statistics and lives, please come back at a later time and I will have a more comedic tone of a video. Okay, we can begin. Today is Memorial Day, a time where we honor the troops that have fallen and a time where we honor our families and military members that are currently or have been in the military service. However, this year, Memorial Day takes a different tone. Currently, almost 100,000 people have died from the coronavirus. And there's over a million infected. I'm sorry. Millions are out of a job at an unemployment rate of 14.7 percent. 9,000 healthcare workers have been infected with the coronavirus and 22 have died on the front lines. And yet, we are still making this virus political. Why, in an age where hundreds of thousands of people are dying all across the world, why can't we simply come together as a people? This is one of the questions that keeps me up at night, and I'm being genuine. We can't unite to wear masks in public, keep social distancing, because it's a political divide. There are people dying left and right. There are people that can't feed their families, can't afford rent, and we cannot come together. Thousands of more will die. Thousands of more will lose their jobs. And healthcare workers will continue fighting as hard as they can. Essential workers everywhere will continue working. And yet, we can't, as a people, come together and unify against this threat. What happened to that American spirit where we come together and tackle wars, violence? We as a people used to be able to come together and congregate, but we can't do that anymore, can we? The political divide in this country is beyond recognition. And thousands of more will die unless we can't get our shit together. I'm sorry. I am. I, I don't mean to be so emotional about this, but seriously. Thousands and thousands of people will not get to see their family members again. There's a quote. I believe it's from Joseph Stalin. Terrible guy, probably. But still let his quote. At a cert I believe it goes like this. At a certain point... One death is a number. Any higher is a statistic. And that's how we are viewing this. We are viewing it as simply a statistic. This isn't a statistic. There are thousands upon thousands of people dying. Thousands. So if you don't take this seriously, if you don't believe that this is an issue, if you believe this is overplayed, or this is not, this isn't a big deal, or it's just another flu, I have news for you. You could be next. You could die. Your grandparents could die. Your parents could die. Your siblings could die. All of them could die. It doesn't matter how low the death rate is, there's a chance that they could die. So take proper safety precautions. Wear a goddamn mask. Stay six feet apart from people. Follow CDC guidelines, use your brains, and realize this isn't a political issue. This is people dying. These are people, individuals, that are dead. It's a shame, really, that this is what it's come to. It's come to us arguing over wearing a goddamn mask. It's come to us arguing over maybe we should all get together in large bunches. Or maybe we should avoid doctors and health professionals. 
who know what they're talking about, who have studied this for years and years. It's a shame. It's a goddamn shame that it's come to this. As an American, as a Texan, as a human being, I'm disappointed. Do I have any right to be disappointed? God, God if I know. But I do know both of my parents are healthcare workers, and both of them have been also dealing with this misinformation bullcrap. And it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. I'm sorry if this caused any political tension or if I said anything that wasn't accurate. I'll leave all my sources in the description. But seriously, we need to frame this from not a statistical point of view. We need to frame this from people are dead. They are dead never to breathe or see the light of day again. Happy Memorial Day, and Godspeed.